So sometimes there's a lot of misconceptions about what we actually do in the weight room and what an actual strength and conditioning coach is. The biggest thing is it's not a bunch of guys that just come here and they bench press and they squat because that's not what we do. I want to see power. I want to see you pull. Ready. Let's go. Dig, 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 dig. What we do is more based on, on training for football. It's an actual science here behind it. You're getting better, man. Shocking what happens when you work hard, right? As far as me being hired here and what our expectations were and what Coach Sark's expectations were with the program is to bring our guys to this level right here. And this is a high standard. This is, this is where our standard level is right here. Look like you're awake. If you're not, you will be soon. Everyone on staff gets here by 5 o'clock. Drills are set up by 5.30. If we need to make any adjustments, we make it by 5.45. By quarter till, most guys are out there stretching, and by five minutes till, we're lined up, ready to go. Get your hips better, pop it over. It's not a slow motion drill, get up and over. So a typical off-season winter conditioning week would start with Monday, we start outside, and we do a dynamic warm-up. Uh, we go through a speed station, we go through an agility station, and then we go through a core station. And each athlete rotates through those stations. You have to be violent out here. You're a violent football player. Give me speed, give me power, punch the ground. And then because we're still not tired, we go inside and then that's when we work out. And in our weight program, uh, football is based on explosive movements. It's a very aggressive sport, so we like to lift aggressively. We gotta be powerful and quick off the movement. Good. Good, explosive, explosive, explosive. Weightlifting, it's not an I have to go work out. It's now become, I get to. I get to come in the weight room and get better. I get to have the opportunity to train with the best strength staff in America to get better. I get to have the opportunity to come in the best weight room in America to get better. I get the opportunity to work out with the best teammates in America to get better. That's what it turns into. It's, it's no longer, oh gosh, I have to go work out. It's an I get to work out. I get to get better. Power up. Yes. That's power, dude. Good. That's being explosive right there, okay? Good job, dude. Yeah, man. Love that guy. And then because we're still not tired, we usually go back outside and condition. Now sometimes the conditioning is football related go, as far as go, position specific go. drills. Other times it's kind of team related, like we run 40s or we run what I like to call eight play drives. Don't break down on me because you're tired. When you're tired and break, break down, that's when we miss plays. When you miss tackles, that's when you do things wrong. Do right all the time. So today's drills, the first drill was the competition T drill. And the competition T-drill, it's good for all athletes because it's a complete, it's a burst of speed, it's a back pedal, it's a shuffle, all movements that every position does. And then what we did is we threw the element of competition in. So we made them compete against each other to get better. Come on, George, go, push, stay low, stay low. Go, DA, come on there. Nice job, Doris. Good competition, man. Good. So. We made guys that, that play the same positions, compete against each other, because we want to make sure they know, hey, you know what, they can have fun and stuff when they're in line, they can fun and stuff off the field, but when it comes to playing football, when it comes to actually competing in their drills, it's game time, and they, every guy wants to start. Come on, Paul. Come on, Long. Great competition right here. Great competition. Push, 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 push. Oh, Jordan Paul got him. It's not just about being physically tough, it's also about being mentally tough. Because I can find guys that are physically tough, but if they're not mentally tough, they'll never make it through my drills. They'll never make it through a football game. You have to find a way to get them mentally tough. And by telling them things like, hey, you're not tired. Guys, mentally strong football team, mentally and physically, you will be ready to go all the time. You do not know tired. It's not in your vocabulary. And I always say, don't, bar let your, don't barrage your mind with negative thoughts. Right, because when you tell your body, when you, when you tell your mind you can't do something, your mind's going to try to shut down. But if you keep telling yourself you can, if you keep finding a way to find a way, your body can do amazing things. You will learn how to finish, dude. We're going to be a disciplined football team. Half the drills and half the stuff we do is to get these guys to be mentally tough. It's to be able to get them on the, on the fourth quarter, last play of the game, when they're tired, when they're playing in adversity, it's having to get them to finish and to make that play and to save the game for us. And that's all about mental toughness. Oh, hey, hey, you know what? No, 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 listen. Listen, if you guys can't finish, we're just going down. So right there's five, okay? I'm not going to keep redoing the drill. Everybody else just standing here, right? If you don't finish, it's up downs. Get it done right. 
My football players know when it's time to come to work, we lock in and we're ready to go 110%. It's weird when I, I always tell them, I say, hey, lock in. When I say lock in, that means all the other stuff outside, whatever conversation we're having outside or whatever kind of laughing or whatever's going on, we end that immediately and we lock in the, what we're going to about to accomplish on the football field. There, Talia, let's go, big boy. Good, man. Good, dude, that's what I'm talking about, man. Let's get powerful. I give them 110% of myself every day. That's my promise to them. That's, that's why I come to work every day. That's what I love to do. So I always give them 110%. I never won't. You know, I keep myself to this level as well. If I'm down this level, I'm not doing my job. So I always have to be at this level. Okay, hey, Friday's tomorrow. We got fish this week off right. Guess what? We have two weeks left. Let's go. Nice and loud. Hard work on three. One, two, three. Hard work. Nice job, nice job, nice job. <laughs>